gon' get up a lot. Oh, oh, baby, yeah. Baby, gon' get up a lot. Right, guys, and welcome here to another race of the IRC Racing League. Today, we will be racing season uh, 12, round 13 on the Honkero ring, as you can see on the screen right now. I'm sorry it's not lined up, but the, the track is a very weird layout, so it looks a little bit weird like this. But that doesn't really matter. So, a little bit more information like we usually do. The first Grand Prix ever held was in 1986. Um, usually the track takes 70 laps to complete, but right now we're gonna do a full qualifying with a 50% afterwards. The circuit length is gonna be 4.3 kilometers for one lap and the total race distance as usual usual will be around 150 kilometers uh, the best quality record ever recorded was in 2020 by lewis hamilton and then we have the best lap record on the track is also in 2020 by lewis hamilton the most grand prix ever win on this one on this track i forgot to look that up and i think it's the old chart so don't look at that um, yeah, as I said, the country is going to be Hungary with a total of 9 million inhabitants. Turn 1, 5 and 13 will be the, des the best overtaking opportunities. Although it is a very difficult track to, to make an overtake work. So I don't think that's going to be happening every time in those corners. Turn 1 is one of the best ones. Uh, we got turn five difficult one uh, it's either when you have a bad exit coming out of that corner of a, or a bad entry coming into that corner then you will be able to overtake the guy in front of you but don't think that's very realistic to be honest and in turn 13 i mean difficult corner you know it's a hard breaking left hander and then you're gonna 
have a short straight afterwards and, and maybe in turn 14 too where you will be able to have a better exit coming out of that corner and then on the main straight start finish straight for a drs zone then you will be able to make a few overtakes as we're gonna get into the game right now because the drivers are already on track and already been in qualifying for four minutes but i had some problems with my steering uh with my playstation so double cream got just put in the fastest lap of the session let's have a quick look Reezy with a 119.8 so he seems to be flying today so we got double cream cat who didn't really finish finish off a good lap with a 123.9 them shadow with a 124.5 and we got multiple people coming across the line with mufc timmy in first with a 118.0 <laughs> have a look at roscoe he hasn't been on a great form recently but he might be able to beat some times today I'm not quite sure i'm gonna i'm gonna do something real quick so i will be right back uh, but yeah it's necessary otherwise i will i keep sounding like this um like i got a yeah you know <laughs> It is going to be Temp Shadow with the fastest lap at the moment. Uh, so he is on a flyer today with a 117.6. And I don't think many people will beat that. Maybe Metaxakis, maybe Tsami Laras. Maybe Bilton Matt, who is on a lap right now. I'm not sure if he's going any fast. But I'm pretty sure he will put a great performance out today. Physical disqualified from the session part in a dangerous location so uh i don't think he was even allowed to put a lap in today but yeah it seems like he has been disqualified anyway because he had a little incident with himself in france where he crashed his car on, on purpose into the wall um, but today yeah that's why he got a full qualifying ban and built mat has to watch out because he's got the red bull right behind him and i think he is on a flyer so let's have a look what's gonna happen here because i know that built and matt is on a flyer at this moment and spidey has put a 121.2 in so i think he's gonna be on another lap although i'm not quite sure if that's gonna be happening because he doesn't have any ers left and he is gonna slow down so he's gonna move a little bit for built and matt who is on a flyer right now with a 126.3 let's have a quick look with his pov i'm gonna put the sound back up because i noticed that i didn't let you hear the sound built on map in the corner right now turn six i think it is turn five to be precise going into the little chicane here i find it quite a difficult chicane to nail because they got a lot of high curbs there on the inside and the outside as going into turn Eight at the moment turn nine taking a lot of curb on the inside a lot of curb on the outside and that's how it should be done it seems a little careful through these corners as he's gonna go flat out right now fastest second sector for the mercedes driver let's see if he has a good exit coming out of that corner it seems like he does uh, turn 13 at the moment going flat out after this corner is he coming into the pits he is coming into the pits he's gonna put in some new tires as he was on the intermediate tires at the moment so a little bit of a, a funny thing from the mercedes driver so we're seeing hawk right now not taking the corner how he should took, took it um i think he has some problems though he's wasting some soft tires so i'm not quite sure what the thought is behind that but yeah the drivers have to watch out because one driver is gonna get out of q2 today well out of q1 and it's as it things look like now it's gonna be hawk 
Uh, no, AZ Dog, my apologies. As Roscoe just put it in the 10th fastest lap, I think. Let's have a quick look. It was a Ferrari driver, so it must have been a mystery. And yeah, it seems like only one Mercedes driver is in the lobby today, as I think the other Mer uh, Mercedes, what am I saying? Ferrari driver. So I think the other Ferrari driver is not going to be present for the whole race. As it is going to be Steve Penny in 15th on an outlap at the moment. Wasting his soft tires. I'm not sure why these guys are wasting soft tires. It's really unuseful. Because you are going to be able to put in medium tires. And save these soft tires till the end of the race. Maybe for Q2, maybe for Q3. Depending on where you usually end up with. If this is a good track for you. If it's not a good track for you. And if it's not a good track for you, you, you can definitely push everything in Q2. Because uh, you know that you won't be able to set a good lap in, in Q3. Maybe with a, uh, a few bummers from the other drivers, but it seems good. Today, AZ Dog is still in the pit, Steve Penny. It seems like, well, my game says he is on a fast lap at the moment. I think there's been some glitching around with this game. Because, um, yeah, I mean... I don't know what it, is, what it is with this game. It seems more broken than the last one. Roscoe losing a little bit of traction there at the end of his car. Well, at the back of his car. With the rear tires. Is he gonna get, gonna get a good corner here? Yellow flag in sector two. And that seems to be the Williams driver. And I think that's gonna be Steve Penny who is going quite slow. No, it's not gonna be Steve Penny. It's gonna be Metaxakis making his way through and a little chicane to leave some room for the Mercedes driver and Roscoe is currently on the lap and he's got the McLaren driver right in front of him I'm not sure if he's going to decide to leave some space for Roscoe it does seem like it. it's quite dangerous driving what he is doing at the moment not leaving any space and that's gonna be a interesting block from I think it was Gotarts no it is uh Ciros and yeah that basically ruined roscoe's lap so i don't think roscoe is either gonna be happy with it or i mean is he coming into pits it doesn't seem like it so he will try to set another lap let's have a quick look he just put a 124.6 so that's four seconds slower than his previous lap as he needs to get a great exit coming out of this corner and he does sort of he had a better exit than last lap. MUFC Timmy with the fastest lap for 117.3. Beating out Temp Shadow at the moment. And Roscoe taking a white line into that corner. Not touching the curve there on the inside. And I think he's he's driving with a controller. I'm not quite sure. The steering looks a little bit stiff. As he just comes across this, uh, the first sector line there. Uh, and there is only one DRS zone here in this race. Well, on this track, it's going to be after turn 13, I think. And then you will have DRS zone on the first straight. And then the second straight afterwards with a little DRS straight. But it's not too, too much. So you cannot really abuse that. Well, let's have a quick look. Roscoe coming across the last couple of corners here. Turn 13. As he lost the back there of his car. And he's going, going to come into the pits as he is sure that he is going to be able to get through Q2. Steve Penny retired from the session as he is feeling very secure with that P15. But AZ Dog still has to put in a lap. And I think if AZ Dog is going to put in a top 15 lap, Steve Penny is going to get out. And he's not going to be able to set another lap as I think Steve Penny crashed into the wall in sector 3 as we can see on the map in the right, the right corner. Uh, we saw a car there on the outside as I think it's the same corner as AZ Dog just spun out of. And we just saw a, if a Red Bull driver driving through him. Mercedes driver is going to get past him too. And all AZ Dog has to do right now is... Put a better lap in than the 118.6. Maybe maybe he just has to put one lap in. Yeah, I think he just has to put one lap in. Because um, his tires are overheating though. But if he puts in one lap, Steve Penny is going to get pushed down. 
as he has been DNF'd from this game. So AZ Dog gonna come across the line with a 138.4. And a, oh, how does that work? So Steve Penny is not gonna get pushed back. Not quite sure how that works. Maybe AZ Dog has to have a better lap than built on map. But that doesn't seem very logical because Steve Penny has been DNF'd from this session as he lost the car right there. And I'm not sure how many minute, more minutes there are as AZ Dog should have come into the pits, put in some new tires and then just try to go for one more lap. Because right now his tires are fuming. We are boiling. And we are seeing some other drivers on the track such as Spidey Ma with 33,000 um, slower than his previous time. And I'm not sure if he's gonna come across the, the, the lap, well, the, the finish flag with a faster lap. I think he's gonna stick down in P12 because he's gonna come into the pits and I think that's gonna be the qualifying over for him going straight to Q2 as he has been, uh, well, he has been going through Q2, Q1, my apologies. I'm so confused with the Q1, Q2 things. Well, not with how it works, but how I should explain it. Like, go through Q1, go into Q2. You know, it's difficult. Siros is having a decent lap at the moment. Not really touching every corner. Uh, curbs and stuff. Like you can see here. Mm. He's not that experienced, but I think if he practices a little bit more, I think he should be good. Is he coming into the pits? He is going to come into the pits, as I think he would have been able to improve his lap, though. Maybe not. Mm, not sure. Easy Dog isn't the only driver who... Well, he is the only driver who has put a bad lap in, because he got a 1 to a 38. And maybe if he puts a better lap in... I'm not sure how it works with the DNF. I uh, guess is Built and Matt gonna get pushed back if AZ Dog puts a better lap in than Built and Matt, or is Steve Penny just gonna get pushed back and then Built and Matt too? Not quite sure. Well, I guess we'll have to see for ourselves because this is gonna be the sector where AZ Dog lost his car, and I don't think he's gonna have the same problem at the moment because his tires are not boiling and. Yeah, for many reasons, you know, this was the corner right here as he comes through it cleanly eight seconds up and that was going to put him in a 130.4. Let's have a quick look how he's going to do it here around turn 13, taking a beautiful corner and he is not going to lose any time as he's not going to going to crash through this corner on the main straight flat out at the moment. DRS excavated as he has. 120 points something and it's gonna be built and mat in p16 and i don't think he is gonna get through as he needs to come out of the pits but he doesn't have enough time to cross every uh well to to cross the finish line and put in another lap so i think that's gonna be um one one thing guys um i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna text built and matt say he's an idiot right there we go let's have a quick look built and matt is he still in the pits he is still in the pits so that's gonna be your q1 and as, as i don't think a lot of drivers will still improve az dog is two seconds up it's going to be the Aston Martin in front of him. I think that's going to be Reezy, who is not improving because he is five minutes already driving on the track during this lap. Or that might be a glitch, guys. I'm not sure. Is he going to come across the line with a better lap? Let's have a quick look. He improved by seven tenths, it says. Uh, so that's going to be great for him. As he is still able to do one more lap, but I don't see the purpose of that. Spidey Ma is still on the lap, improving by 1.5 seconds. Or was it this last lap that improved by 1.5 seconds? I don't know, guys. This game is just so broken. And he crashes out of the corner there. 
as the only driver still on the track is going to be Double Cream Cat and Reezy. Let's have a quick look at this beautiful scenery. Here, you know, Hungary is quite a beautiful country and, and they are driving some great things here. And especially the, the track is, you know, the track is beautiful, but it's it's just not an overtaking circuit where you are easily overtaking other people. That's just the thing. So yeah, Reezy right now, 119.0. He is not improving. Mm, is he improving? He's not improving. Is he improving? Let's have a quick look. Ooh, nope. He's not improving. Let's have a quick look who is going through though, because I'm not sure how the, the, the things work here. Is Built and Matt going to be in 15th or 16th? Let's have a quick look. And he is going to be out of this session. So it's going to be physical Built and Matt and Steve Penny DNF'd. Oh, well, DNF, they did finish, but are not going through Q2. And the first few drivers were going to be MUFC Timmy, who is again showing some great pace during a race weekend. Tem Shadow coming back after a not so great race last week. Now we've got Metaxakis in P3. Portal Farm back at it again in P4 as he is showing some great pace at the moment. Samiladas in P5 and I didn't take a good look at the rest of the grid because I've got a, a little thing on my my hand and it hurts it's not it's nothing dirty or something but I've been pulling some ropes today and my hands hurt at the moment because the ropes are cutting my my fingers so it doesn't look too bad but it just hurts um let's have a quick look if anyone else is on a lap right now no, obviously not, because we are in Q2 and we just started the qualifying, so I think the first driver is going to be a Mercedes driver. Let's have a quick look. He's going to come out of the pits, and there's this guy going to walk backwards. And MUFC Timmy is the first driver coming out, and it's going to be Double Cream Cat, I think. And yeah, it's just, it's just chilling right now, you know? Qualifying is usually a chill, a chill thing because I mean Q2 nothing really is going to happen in Q2 maybe a, maybe some surprises you know if, if drivers like Samiladas or uh, Metaxakis are going to have a unfortunate race or an unfortunate Q2 they're going to get dropped out and then we're going to see another amazing drive from them starting from whatever place they were in Q2 and then finishing Usually in the top three, no. Hawk at the moment in P3. He hasn't put a lap in yet. As I'm not sure what what where the game decides this to to be, you know. MUFC Timmy is gonna start from P1, but then Roscoe is gonna start from P2. I don't know where the logical thing is behind that and then it's going to be Mitaxak is in P12, Tem Shadow in P14. Where where is this logic EA? Is it is it created by EA or is it created by Codemasters? Because I've heard yeah, it's going to be by EA, but I heard that FIFA 23 was also going to be created by someone else. But apparently it's still a FIFA game uh, an EA game, so I'm not sure how that works. Um but yeah, of course, EA with another shitty game. F122, not really a great game, you know. But I cannot say too much bad stuff about the game because otherwise I'm gonna get banned and then I will, yeah, you guys won't be able to see some commentary from, from me. Someone invalidated their lap and it is Hawk who hasn't been on a great streak recently. 
Go darts is going to be not the first one coming across the line. I think it's going to be a Haas driver. Let's have a quick look. Temp Shadow maybe. No, it's going to be his teammate Double Cream Cat who just put in the fastest second sector. But I think it has been taken away by his teammate Temp Shadow. Let's have a quick look what he's going to put on the table. I guess a 120.3. Let's have a quick look. And it is going to be a 118.8. So that's quite fast to be honest. 117.4. And the next driver is going to put a 134.4. Not quite sure. I'm going to I'm gonna guess everyone's time when they're coming in across the line. So I'm going to analyze his track. His lap at the moment. And he's putting in some great pressure. Gotars is going to put a 119.3. No, 118.2 no, in my opinion. Then we're going to have Portal Farm, who's on a fast lap of 118.6, I think. Let's have a quick look. 118.6. He doesn't have a great exit coming out of that corner, but he has a, oh, a 118.1. And, and Godard is even faster. Oh my days. I'm bad at these guesses, you know. Ciros is going to have a 131.8. And Rezi has a 132.6. MUFC Timmy has been doing another outlap, but he is on a fast lap at the moment. Oh, I'm tired, guys. I'm not sure what this is, but uh, I need to go to bed quite early because I'm going to get my vaccination tomorrow. And uh, I didn't really want my vaccination for many reasons. Uh, first of all, because it hurts and I won't be able to play baseball for a couple of days. But yeah, I'm going to try to 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 put it in my left arm. Maybe I'm going to try to put it in my... <laughs> no, no, that's a joke. I, I, they used to they used to give uh, children medication through their um, bum. Not sure why I'm talking about this on live stream, but... You know, things happen. It's it's life, and I don't think it's really that disgusting. Portal farm coming into the bits. Go darts. It's probably gonna come into the bits too. And I think Metaxaki has put a fastest lap in one seventeen point three. The best quality record ever recorded on this track is a one thirteen point four. And that was back in 2020 or 2019. 2018, I think, even. Not quite sure. Not quite sure. 2020, maybe. And then the, the fastest lap was in 2018. By another driver. I'm not sure who that was. Um, let's have a quick look. Roscoe, P8. Is he on a fast lap, though? That's going to be the question. He isn't going to be on a fast lap. Because he's already in 114.5. And he hasn't crossed the last few corners yet. And UFC Timmy is coming into the bits. So he's got to hurry up. Because otherwise he won't be in Q3. And Mystery is on the lap right now. So let's have a quick look at his POV. We come across that difficult chicane section. And in my opinion, he has a very loose setup. Because his car can slide through the corners quite easily. And I think that's going to be a time trial setup. Or he's just got some uh, turbos at the back of his car. He can handle the pressure. Well, the, the car cannot handle the pressure. Gonna come across the last corner here. He's quite fast though. This is crazy. Quick look, a 118.6 for mystery. So that's gonna place him in a secure spot for P uh well Q2 Q3. So quick look, Cyrus is slowing down a little bit. And I think he's a great driver too. Yeah, he actually is. Let's have a quick look at some other drivers who are out at the moment. AZ Dog is out with a 117.5, so he improved by quite a bit. Compared to his Q1 qualifying. 
And Mystery is still on the lap, Cedros is still on the lap. Spidey Maw and Hawk are on the lap right now. Hawk, let's have a quick look. Two minutes. It's not gonna be enough. And Spidey Maw is also on the lap, and I don't think he has been crashing recently. So let's have a quick look what his qualifying lap is gonna be. He's a little stiff around the corners. second fastest well fastest second sector because i think that's the glitch a one five coming into this corner let's have a quick look he is fast though i cannot deny that but he's definitely not gonna get anywhere near a 117 120.1 so yeah he will be a little slower than Ciros. And we got Sammy Lados on the lap right now. And he's gonna try to impress everyone here on Hungary. And I think Hungary is quite close to Greece, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. So yeah, these guys have to prove something because I'm sure there will be some Greek... Um, well, spectators, I'm not sure. Fans in the, in the stands. As he is quite fast around this track, improving by almost one tenth at the moment into sector one. Ooh, he had a little snap there coming out of that corner. Let's have a quick look what he's gonna have here in this little chicane, taking the corners quite beautifully. Right, let's have a quick look. Ooh, he has a he has a slidey slidey setup though. Not not too sure if he finds a lot of grip on this track at the moment, improving by three tenths. And it will put him in in the same position because the fourth fastest driver is seven tenths in front of him. So let's have a quick look. If he's going to improve by three more tenths here in the last sector, is he going to have a good exit coming out of this corner? It does seem like it, as he did have a little tire wall, uh, well, traction loss coming out of that corner, improving by three tenths. It's going to be a 117.8. As he is going to have a little more distance between himself and Portal Farm. But Gotharts is too fast for the Greek driver at the moment. MUFC Timmy has come into the battle with a 117.9. Mm. Is there anyone else on a lap? I do think that he's top two or on a lap right now. Temp Shadow. 4 minutes it says, I'm not sure what he has been doing, but definitely not been driving for 4 minutes already. Because this game is a little bit glitched, you know. I'm not sure what I should say, say about the, the game. They just did another update and I think it has been glitching the game even more. Uh, the, the more updates they bring, the, the, the worse the game gets. Because in the beginning of the... Of the of the season the the game was not glitched at all but right now it seems to be having a lot of issues and a new fc timmy is coming into the pits too and metaxakis is almost gonna come across the line he is not gonna be that Temp Shadow at the moment, turn 12, turn 13, as it is going to be a difficult line to nail. Is he coming into the pits? He is actually going to try and improve his lap, as I do think that's a little optimistic. Although, maybe not. 116, 116.7, improved by 710, so he has been showing some great pace at the moment, as he beats his main competition with almost six tens more than six tens even that's crazy that's crazy portal farm at the moment p7 is it going to improve the game is glitched again six minutes apparently according to this game let's have a quick look but we have to look at the other at these other drivers too because Ciros is improving by eight tens and that will put him in front of roscoe and in front of reezy too reezy too so if he's going to be able to get in front of Hawk, he might be able to get into the top 10. And that's going to be a great 
thing for no 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 Cyrus, what are you doing buddy that is quite unfortunate as he lost the car right there coming into turn five i think it is Yep, it is turn 5. And we might be able to see a great lap here from Spidey Ma. As he is currently on a lap though. I said, well, let's have a quick look what he is going to do after Sector 1. 4 10 slower, so I don't think he is going to put a great lap in. Gotarts is still on a lap. He's going to come across the line and put another lap in. As it says, he was 4 minutes on a lap already. Uh, it's gonna have the DRS. Temp Shadow retired from the session. He's quite sure that he's gonna maintain that P1. And I don't think that Metaxarchus is gonna come out again. I don't think AZ Dog is gonna do that either. Or I don't think anyone else is gonna come into the out of the pits because there is not enough time to set a lap in. Ooh, Gotarts invalidated this lap out that corner. Let's have a quick look. Reezy, P11. Is he going to be able to improve? I don't think it is, but it has to happen after this lap. Roscoe, the same scenario. He is improving by one tenth, but he invalidated this lap, so that's quite unfortunate. Ciros. He either has to come into the pits or set another good lap, but I don't think he's going to improve anymore because he's already two tenths down on his time. Well, up. I'm not sure. He's slower. And there's the yellow flag in sector one. I think that must be Reezy or Portal Farm. I'm not sure. Let's have a quick look. It was going to be Reezy though. Portal Farm is in sector three. Reezy is in sector one still. Um, but I don't think he's going to be improving. Let's have a quick look. In, well, he's slowing down with 13 seconds as he has a broken front wing. Ciros uh, is not improving. Spidey Maw is not improving, but not by too much. Almost one ten slower as I'm gonna have a quick look at where he finished last race. I think he didn't have them, I'm not quite sure. Mm, I can't watch it again. Wait, I can actually. Hold on. Let's let's get the quick standings from last race. I think that's always coming in a bit handy. Uh, let's have a quick look. Yo. It, it takes quite a bit though because I need to have a quick look at my stream again. Uh, here were the interviews. Okay. So we've got... E it's taking a bit though. But Spidey Maw hasn't been able to improve. Neither has Ciros. And it's only going to be depending on Roscoe. Roscoe puts himself in P8. So that's going to be Hawk out of the top 10. And Riesi is going to come into the pit. So great job by Roscoe at the moment. Place him himself in P8. And well, pushing out Hawk out of the top 10 basically. Let's have a quick look. Ooh, there is something wrong with my... Wait, hold on. There is something wrong with my stream. Oh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, okay, it's fixed. So, uh, the last race. Let's have a quick look. Sami Laras had won the race. Metaxakis right behind him. MUFC Timmy in P3. Mystery in P4. Built and Matt in P5. And Roscoe was in P11. So he has been outperforming his previous race result. Spidey Ma was nowhere near... The top 14, as I think he DNF'd out of the session. Cyrus was in P14, Hawk was in P13, and Spidey Maw did not attend the race last week. So yeah, that's um, that's what happened last race. So th today it's going to be Temp Shadow in P1, Metaxakis in P2, and AZ Dog in P3 for Q2 qualifying at the moment.
because I'm feeling very tired, guys. I'm not sure what the what the problem is with me today. Um, not sure if I'm gonna make the old race though, because I'm quite quite tired, and you know, when I'm quite tired, I'm not really able to think straight. So my my sentences will be a little itchy. I'm not sure if that's a word, but a little meh, you know. Samiladas into the pit lane at the moment. Mm, there's another driver out already. It's going to be double cream cat. And he's always one of the drivers out very fast here in Q3. Also in the previous qualifyings, he was quite fast out of the track, uh, out of the pit lane. My apologies. Who are the other drivers? It's gonna be Timmy, it's gonna be Tamilaras, Metaxakis, AZ Dog, and Temp Shadow. Leaving a lot of space between himself and the AlphaTauri driver there in Sector 2. Yeah, I mean, the Double Cream Cat doesn't have much pressure at the moment. Because he's the first driver, he still has to get used to the track. I'm not sure if that makes sense. yeah it's still it's still the first lap of q3 though so he's gonna come across the line here in a few seconds to start his qualifying lap in q3 here around the hungaro ring in hungary let's have a quick look into turn one is he gonna have a good apex there he actually is is he gonna have good good apex coming out of that corner it doesn't seem like it going into turn two and what i've experienced from this corner you don't have to take the, take the inner curve because uh, you will not have a great exit here on this little straight and he has the fastest first sector but that's not really representable of course let's have a quick look i think he's gonna put a 118 once again i'm not sure what the best lap uh, lap was last race i think it was a 116.7 wasn't it by temp shadow Double cream cat at the moment quite fast he is gonna have the second fast well the fastest second sector and timmy is also on the lap he's right behind double cream cat at the moment double cream cat went a little bit wide coming out of that corner let's have a quick look coming across the last corner and going on to the main straight flat out as flat as he can puts in a 118.4 let's have a quick look with timmy as he is gonna come across the last turn not sure what the what the turn is called like uh, but i think it's turn 14 as he is gonna put a 117.1 temp shadow is in p10 currently but i don't think he's gonna improve by a little bit 116.3 three absolutely flyer from him as i think he has been practicing quite a bit recently easy dog seems to be practicing too because he was p3 after the last qualifying mystery is on a lap though he's gonna come across the corner and let's have a quick look what he's gonna put down a 117.9 which will place him in p4 sami lardas has also come across the line with a 117.7 portal farm right now with a 118.1 go darts is on a fast lap coming down the main straight with a 117.5 which will place him in p3 now we've got az dog still on a lap here in sector 2 so i'm gonna take a little sip from my water real quick He validated this lap though, so I don't think that will count anymore. Uh, we've got Mystery in P5. And he is still on a fast lap though. He's 5 seconds slower. So I don't think that will count. 
And then the other driver is going to be Portal Farm. He invalidated his lap 2. Then we've got the Goat Darts, who is not improving 2 seconds slower. So yeah, everyone is in the pits right now. I think Mitaxakis is coming out currently. And is that going to be a great lap from him? I'm not quite sure. Let's have a quick look. Uh, it does seem like it though. He is, he is coming across the line. Well, I'm, I have no idea what I'm saying actually. I'm, I'm so tired. Um, Coming across the line here. Sector 1. Going into Sector 2. Invalidated this lap. But it's still a knock lap. We have to make sure that we don't confuse a fast lap with an out lap. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do something guys I'll, I'll be right back in a second but I'm gonna try to get myself waked up hold on All right, let's have a quick look. We've got Mitaxakis coming out of that corner quite itchy because he, he hasn't been... I mean, he didn't have a great exit coming out of that corner because his car was a little bit loose. But right now he seems to have caught up a little bit. He hasn't been able to put a lap in yet. Fastest first sector, it says. And I'm, I'm not sure what's... What's going to be his time though? Because it doesn't seem like he has been putting up a great show at the moment. But I'm sure he's going to put a time in. Top 5. Not quite sure though. Not quite sure. Let's have a quick look. Here in turn 12. Quite a difficult one. You need to touch a lot of curb to get much speed coming out of that corner. Turn 13. Turn 14, and, and what the thing is with turn 13, if you're coming out of that corner, ooh, Metaxakis has been spinning there, as you just saw, and he's not going to have many time anymore to come into the pits and try to get in some new rubber, because he has been on, on these tires quite a bit already. Let's have a quick look. I don't think he's gonna he's gonna try to set another lap though here on these tires because that will be a loss of well positions quite obviously yeah Mitex is that was quite unfortunate losing his car once again it wasn't even in the corner it was on the straight though coming out of the corner it was he doesn't have much fuel anymore. He's got the Ferrari driver right in front of him, uh, right behind him, as he just got overtaken. So let's have a quick look with Mystery at the moment. He is coming around turn uh, 10, something around there. Going into turn 12 right now, going into turn 13. And this is going to be a great lap from him. I'm pretty sure. Because I think he's going to be able to put a 117 in. Eh, it's going to be... It's going to be... Ah, it's not going to be a 117. It's going to be... It is going to be a 117. Improving by 3 tenths. Puts him in P6. I don't think it has been an improvement in positions. But he is sure... That he's going to be closer to go darts. I, 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 I think he's going to try and set in another lap. Because he has not. He doesn't have too much time to come into the pits anymore. As he has been slowing down right now. So that's not going to be a great sign for, for him. 
Uh, Roscoe has come across the line 14 seconds improvement but I think that's gonna be p7 for him double cream cat and Mitaxakis are still in the pits they have to come out come out quite soon to be able to set another lap in and we've got Samilaras coming into the pits it's gonna be p3 for him as he won't be able to set in another lap uh, who is still on the lap right now mystery but he's 11 seconds slower roscoe is one second slower port of farm is he on a lap though i think he is i think he is he's gonna try to set a good example here as he just puts himself in p8 he was way faster in q1 but today in q3 q q3 he hasn't found his pace yet it might happen this lap though because he has been flying through that corner he's not improving but Aksakis is fucked indeed um, not sure if he is gonna have enough time to come across the line I do think though because you've got one minute and something on this track he's gonna cut a lot of corners to be able to set in a lap Samilaras retired from the session Temp Shadow retired from the session too as it is gonna be MUFC Timmy still trying to set a lap in because he wants that P1, P1 result in qualifying to be able to start from the front, from from the front, yeah. Mm, let's have a quick look. Is Metaxaki's gonna make it though? Ooh, is he gonna make it? That's gonna be the question. I don't think he is. I don't think he is, guys. He is not gonna make it. Even with the corner cutting, he's not going to make it. And his qualifying is going to be a 126.9. And that's quite unfortunate for him. As we are still seeing MUFC Timmy right now. Is he improving though? Let's have a quick look. Coming across the second sector line. He is improving, but not by too much. Let's have a quick look what his POV looks like. So it does look quite great, but... He's not going to have enough time having a snatch coming out of that corner. Four seconds short. That is indeed true for Mitaxakis. As Timmy comes across the line with a 117.1. So he hasn't been improving. Gotarts is on the lap. But he's letting another driver through. And no, he is. Ooh, that's some dangerous driving from him there. Double cream cat coming across the line with a 118.3. Improved by 110. But it's not going to be enough to gain a position. Portal Farm is not improving, so he's going to come into the pits. And that's going to be your Q3 from today. With Temp Shadow, another P1 during the qualifying. MUFC team is showing some great pace at the moment. In P2, 117.1. Now we've got Samilaras in P3 with a 117.3. AZ Dog in P4, 117.3. Gotarts in P5. Mystery in P6, Portal Farm in P7, Roscoe in P8, Double Cream Cat in P9, and very unfortunate, Midaxakis in P10. And here's the thing AZ Dog and Samilados were not too far off each other, because it's only going to be 71 hundreds of each other, and that's not too much in a qualifying, of course. Shadow is on another level today. He, I think he has been practicing quite a bit here on Hungary. So I'm going to take a little break before we're going to start the, the race. And I thank you much for watching already. But we do have an exciting race coming up. As I give you a little bit of time to get some snacks and to get some drinks at the moment. And I will catch you back in a few minutes.
Unless the drivers are on an outlap wall, a warm up lap right now, formation lap it's called, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the strategy. As I think the best strategy to take is gonna be a medium hard strategy, as that will be the fastest here around the Hungaro ring. Then maybe a soft medium medium strategy, because I think the medium soft strategy is quite. Um, it's not really doable because you will have dead tires here in Hungary, especially with such fast corners down the left and the right hand side. Um, so yeah, soft, medium, medium might be able to work if you have two safety cars. And I'm not sure what the safety car is in. Um, well, the, the safety car settings, what they are on at the moment. And then we got a soft, hard strategy. Mm -hmm. my apologies for all the die hearts who are um heart lovers uh, but yeah basically soft heart only works when you have a early safety car you will have gained a few positions at the beginning of the race because obviously soft tires are faster than the hard tires but if there is not any safety car at the beginning of the race which i do think there is going to be you're a little bit fucked on this strategy because it could happen that you go from soft to hearts after that. Um... Yeah, I mean, after your pit lane entry. But then the, the lap after it could be a safety car and then your whole strategy is not really working out. So let's have a quick look at the moment as we're going to line up for the grid. Nobody DNF'd, I think, if I saw correctly. It's going to be five red lights. And away we go here for the IRC Racing League Season 12 Round 13 on the Ungaro Ring. And nobody really has a good exit. Uh, it's going to be a little battle there for third as they're going three wide into turn one. MUFC Timmy already made the move work on Temp Shadow, who lost the position. Portal Farm in P6. And is this going to be clean here? Portal Farm. Ooh, 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 what is happening with him? He tried to make a dive bomb there coming into that corner, but it wasn't going to be very clean as he spun out already. He lost the front wing there because I do think he has an interesting driving style. Let's have a quick look at the front here because there has been battling going on. And Temp Shadow spins out Samiladas as that has not been a great thing here spidey maw retired from the session and I, i'm not sure why already is there already going to be a safety car i hope there's not going to be a safety car already because this is going to be a race with a lot of safety cars a lot of yellow flags let's have a quick look at the front here mufc timmy in p1 az dog in p2 and built the mat already came back from p16 to p9 at the moment so he is on a flyer Let's have a quick look what everyone is on tires wise. Built the mat started on hard tires and surprisingly he had a great exit coming out of that corner and it seems like there's already going to be a safety car. Mm, who else is on hard tires? Mitak Sax is on hard tires but I think he has been overtaking Roscoe illegally at the moment. And is there anything else? Physico is coming into the pits for new tires and I think he's going to try to finish the race on hard tires and uh, Samiladas is all the way in p14 Ooh, physical pitted for soft tires i'm not sure if that's the best strategy to go for as we're seeing portal farm pitting for hard tires so he's gonna try and make his way through the race on these hard tires till the end of the race so i'm gonna take a little a little small break and i will be back in a few seconds
Alright guys, my apologies. So, safety car is still out on track. Is anyone else pitting? It doesn't seem like it. As we are seeing our podium at the moment, MUFC Team E, AZ Dog, and Mystery, but still many things can change as we are only in, P in uh, round, well, what is it called? Lap 3 at the moment. Let's have a quick look. Metaxak is in P6, started on hard tires, so he didn't think there was going to be a early safety car. Who else is on hard tires? Built on Matt, Samiladas, and that's going to be it for um the starters and then we have portal farm who already pitted onto hard tires physico is on one lap old soft at the moment uh, which he pitted on obviously after the safety car but it is a, an interesting strategy though he he was on medium tires he pitted for the soft tires and i think he is expecting more than six safety cars today because uh, if a safety car every Six laps, six laps is there. You're gonna have six safety cars. I mean, five safety cars, you know. And is anything else interesting? I'm not sure. Let's talk a little bit about the standings. As I got them in front of me. So, Tsami Lados is MP1 at the moment for the championship battle. With 203 points. After him, we've got... MUFC Timmy with 183 points so he is trailing by 20 so if he's if he's winning this race and Sami Laras is not going to finish in the points he's basically going to be in front of him with 5 points now we've got Temp Shadow with 100 169 points so I mean theoretically he's not going to be able to get in P1 today in the in the standings and uh, we've got built and matt in one with 145 points and then and i know a few races ago built and matt was still up for the championship battle but he has been very unlucky recently as i think samiladas just got overtaken by portal farm and also by physical as i'm not sure what happened there but he is definitely gonna have <laughs> A little talk with the other drivers because i mean he was in p14 and right now he's in p15 so i'm not sure what happened portal farm was in p16 uh he's still in p16 but he crashed out and as i'm not sure if he had an incident with samilados physico is just overtaking people i'm not sure what he's doing at the moment Oh wait, all my days. I'm so stupid. The race already started. The, the, the safety car already came in. Gotarts, MP15, he crashed out quite unfortunately. Port of Farm crashed out too. As we're seeing some overtakes happening here. Between Built and Matt and Double Cream Cat on the inside. He's gonna have the Aston Martin to be overtaken too. As he is coming into the pits, I think. Not quite sure what the strategy is behind that. Double Cream Cat is gonna be back for an overtake on built and mat having the slipstream and is he gonna dive on the inside i don't think he is physical is having some overtakes at the moment Cedos is gonna shove it down the inside but it's not gonna be enough as it was a nice try from the greek driver but now he's gonna be under attack from behind damn shadow who has a better exit coming out of that corner i think let's have a quick look I don't think he is. He's going to be stuck after the Greek... Well, behind the Greek driver, Steve Penny. Ooh, Gotarts left the session, quite unfortunately. Mitaxakis overtook Rosco, who just spun into the wall. That's quite unfortunate to see. AZ Dog is losing a little bit of time to Timmy. Let's have a quick look here. Physico, two tens. Portal Farm is making the move on... Ooh, there's so, so many things happening. Steve Penny crashed out quite unfortunately. As we're seeing Ciros, two tens behind Physico. We, he's got the Haas driver right behind him. And Sami Lados is already back in P11. As he is going to be making his way back up. Trying to overtake Temp Shadow. Maybe Ciros. Maybe, maybe Physico. Although Physico does have the DRS. Um, no, he doesn't have the DRS. But he has soft tires. Ciros having a wide line coming out of that corner and, and Temp Shadow is going to make the move down the inside. 
inside my apologies and is tamilada is gonna benefit from that i don't think he actually is he's gonna go down the outside making some move for his fellow greek driver as Cedos just um spun out of that corner so let's have a quick look back here at samilaras six tens behind them shadow and that's going to be a, a rather of a big gap but it's still going to be able to get close down but he is on five level hard tires so he doesn't have to worry about anything because Tem shadow is on medium tires there is a yellow flag in sector one and that's going to be both rosco and steve penny we're not very lucky today but yeah that's uh another story tamilaras one second off but it's gonna be temp shadow trying to make a move on physical three tens at the moment two tens and it's very close fighting at the moment but it's not really easy here in hungary physical spun there coming out of that corner now it's gonna be tamilaras trying to make a move down the inside touch the brakes right on time Cyrus made the move on physical work and now it's gonna be a battle between these two Tem Shadow is not really close to Hawk, but Hawk is closer to Double Cream Cat as he has the DRS. Let's have a quick look if Samiladas is going to be making the move here on this main straight. And I'm pretty sure that Spidey Maw is going to be mad here after this race. Roscoe made the move work on Physico. Not sure what Physico is doing right now. I think he has some uh, boiling tires. Let's have a quick look here with Samiladas who is still following Temp Shadow, and I think Temp Shadow is not really closing down on Hawk, but Samiladas is definitely closing down on the Haas driver at the moment. You were very fast today, Spidey. I must say that, but yeah, very unfortunate for you. As we are still seeing... Ooh, mystery here. Six tens, five tens behind AZ Dog, as there is another yellow flag in Sector 1, and I think that's going to be another safety car after lap 7, and I think my little prediction of a safety car every six laps is going to come true, because right now we had a safety car after lap 2, or maybe after lap 1, I'm not quite sure. Right now it's going to be safety car after lap 7, so that's going to be an annoying thing as there is going to be someone coming into the pits and it's going to be MUFC Timmy. And I'm not sure what tire he will go on because especially here on Hungary you never know with the safety cars. And I do think there's going to be another few safety cars coming up. As he is going on to... what tire is he going on? He's going on hard tires so that's really interesting as he will not be on the fastest tire at the moment. He's going to get overtaken by quite a few drivers. And I hope for him he's not going to get overtaken by Portal Farm. He is not going to get overtaken by him. So that's always great to see. Because Portal Farm is... I'm not going to call him a troublemaker. But he is a troublemaker. <laughs> Tem Shadow went into the pits too for some hard tires. And then there is going to be AZ Dog, Mystery, Metaxakis, Built and Matt, Double Cream Cat, Hawk and Samilaras who haven't pitted yet then there's going to be Portal Farm with 6 up old hearts he pitted in the first lap then there's going to be Ciros who hasn't pitted yet but he has a little bit of an unfortunate race at the moment and I'm going to be back in a minute You know guys I have an ID. So what what here's the thing, you know. Every time there is a safety car, like this is the ID, right? Uh, every time there is a safety car, there should be playing a song like 
it's again another yellow flag we are seeing some safety cars la 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 we are in f1 today there is another safety car here in the i r c racing link oh that should be yeah that should be great um uh, actually that's a good idea i'm gonna try and make that um cringe song i'm not I mean, it's not cringe it's a it's a it's a great song you know but it's just funny it's always after a few laps racing there's gonna be two safety cars already we're not even halfway through the race and we're already seeing two safety cars come on uh, let me do the calculations another six laps that's gonna be around lap 14 so my prediction is gonna be around 15 another safety car but yeah i mean has anyone caught up yet it is gonna be steve penny who has to caught, ca catch up but i don't think he's gonna be on time he might be on time is the safety car coming in already don't think he is he's gonna wait another lap nope safety car is in this lap so not like the last lap not the last safety car we're gonna catch the safety car restart right now as we will be beginning with az doc who has this ers enabled quite interesting as he is gonna try and boost out of that corner there Let's have a quick look. Is he if is he gonna be able to? He is actually gonna be able to. A gap of 1.3 seconds. Double cream cat here, quite close to built and mat. Making a move down the inside. He is gonna back out of it. As it is gonna be a move from Temp Shadow on Ciros down the inside. Ciros with delayed braking as he is making his way past the McLaren driver right now. And Ciros spun again, so that's quite unfortunate for him. Or Hog is quite close to the um what is it the Haas driver and Samilados is also quite close to Hog, but he's under attack from MUFC Timmy who is right behind him. And let's take a ride with his POV at the moment. Because we want to see some beautiful overtakings here from the Alfa Romeo driver. He has to maintain the P1. Um, well, he he had to wait. Hold on. He has to get P1 today, and Samiladas cannot have a race. Well, a finish. Well, he can have a finish, but he cannot touch the curve. Well, what am I saying? To get any points today? As he went a little bit wide there, coming into that corner. I'm not sure what happened there. I think that must have been something with his wheel, or maybe a lockup. Not quite sure. But yeah, if MUFC Timmy gets points today. And Samiladas doesn't, as we are seeing an overtake from Temp Shadow on Portal Farm right now. And I'm not sure if Portal Farm is going to stick it down the inside. He's going to try to, as Temp Shadow takes a wider line coming out of that corner, having a better exit there. And let's have a quick look. Hawk is really keeping up his teammate at the moment, as I'm not quite sure what's happening here, because the guy should be playing some team plays at the moment. But I don't think there is a first driver currently i do know that timmy has got the faster try uh, faster tires he's on three lap old hearts and hog is on 10 lap old mediums so i'm not sure if the guys made a perfect strategy to not pit after that safety car but they might think there's going to be another safety car here in a few laps um i, ca I cannot watch it unfortunately uh, i'm on stream currently so i won't be able to watch it but uh, maybe other guys in the chat are able to watch it. Make sure to check it out. And let's have a quick look. Sami Lara's four tens behind Timmy. Physical with another three second penalty as he is finding himself. In P11, he's not going to score any points. Portal Farm is going to score points. DRS is enabled. So I'm curious who has the DRS. It's going to be Timmy on Hawk. And I do think Hawk is the DRS too. Doesn't he? He does actually. And he's not going to make his way past double cream cat as he is eight tens behind the Haas driver 
Uh, let's have a quick look if he's going to get any closer to built and mad. I'm not quite sure if it's logical if he's going to get any closer because built and mad has 11 leveled hearts and they should be better than the medium tires at the moment. Because these medium tires are already a little bit worn out and I don't think the hard tires are worn out yet because they last a little bit longer portal farm with another three second penalty as he is not really good at maintaining his penalties at the moment let's have a quick look here at the back Samilados P8 MUFC P Timmy P7 as he is finding himself quite close to his teammate and I do think there is gonna happen something here between these two because they they are racing so close to each other and I mean, they are teammates though, but if something is going to happen uh, incident-wise, I do think there is going to be some arguments between these two. And maybe he's going to have the DRS on the main straight. Is he going to use any ERS? I do think so, but he has less ERS than his teammate at the moment. He does have a great exit coming out of that corner. Let's have a quick look if he's going to use the slipstream. It doesn't look like it. Hawk is getting away from the Alfa Romeo driver sticking it down the inside he's actually not gonna stick it down the inside he does have a better exit though mystery is having some battles here with az dog as they're fighting in sector one at the moment and let's get back to the back here as timmy makes his way on the inside of hawk and he makes the move done he did get a i think a penalty warning with there i mean uh, a track limit warning there but he has made the move done and that's great to see Wait, he hasn't made the move done? I think the game is glitching, guys. No, 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 it's not glitching. He is finding himself right behind double cream cat. Two tenths, three tenths, um, as he is going a little bit wide there. I'm not sure who has penalties already or who has many warnings. It is going to be Timmy putting up the pressure for the Haas driver as he is going to dive down the inside as he has made the move done now his next target is going to be built on matt who is three seconds in front of him and he hasn't played it very smart to me because the driver behind him is going to have drs now although maybe not oh he actually is and let's have a quick look here at the front Ooh, there is an overtake happening here mitaksaki is on the inside of az dog and that's going to be move done for the greek driver now his next target is going to be mystery another move here from double cream cat with hawk and that's some great racing between all of these drivers let's have a quick look Ooh, here temp shadow tamilaras what is happening guys is it gonna be move done it is actually gonna be moved done as i think that temp shadow was already in front of tamilaras yellow flag in sector one that's gonna be Ciros. quite interesting who is gonna get penalties here because especially going down the the later stage of this race penalties are going to be very important especially with such close racing as happening right now five drivers still battling i i mean six seven drivers i'm not quite sure how many they, they what they are but let's have a quick look here at this beautiful train hawk three tenths behind double cream cat Orton Farm still in the battle at the moment, but he does have penalties. So he's going to have a inside battle with Physico, who is making his way closer to this little group here. And now it's going to be all for this DRS train. Let's have a quick look. I think Double Cream Cat is going to get overtaken by all of these drivers. I mean, a couple. Let's have a quick look. Hawk on the inside here, and his teammate is not going to be able to be overtaken. Let's have a quick look and nothing is happening here so that's gonna be moved on for hawk as double cream cat is still gonna try and make it around him Ooh, a little battle here from the haas drivers and yeah that's beautifully done from double cream cat letting his teammate go through as he is having some interesting defense here on the mercedes driver and there is gonna be another e safety car as I think that Steve Penny has lost his car on the main straight. And that's quite unfortunate. So now all the medium tire runners can come into the pits. And uh, put in some new tires. As I think that Sami Lados is also going to put himself on medium tires at the moment. UFC Timmy is definitely not going to come into the pits. Maybe he is going on to medium tires. I'm not quite sure. 
it wouldn't be great though build build the mat started on hard tires he's gonna pit for medium tires i think so is metaxakis he's not coming into the pits quite an interesting strategy from the greek driver staying out of the pits at the moment mystery came into the pits az dog came into the pits built and matt came into the pits and we saw a few glitches happening already with drivers that got the soft tires and i think built and matt got the soft tires this is not looking great for the british driver very unfortunate for him uh, it might be it might be the strategy though we don't know that um, but he's the only driver putting on soft tires at the moment as it is going to be mystery on hard tires it is going to be all the other drivers not pitting yet samilaras is not coming to the pits as i think he's going to try and stretch those hard tires till the last few laps to go on soft tires so i'm gonna do another quick break here um during the in the during the safety car um, but we will be back in a few minutes hello everyone and welcome back to round 13 of season 12 here of the irc racing league today we are driving around hungary and yeah gotard's very unfortunate i'm not sure what happened there but i'm pretty sure you are very furious after that dsq it says it's tsq yeah, i'm not sure what happened i think you were stuck somewhere you couldn't get on track anymore or i mean i've i've had it myself though so don't worry about it it's 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 a shame you you showed some great pace today but it seems like we're going underway again here for the hungary Hung, hungary grand prix hungarian grand prix i'm not sure how i should say it but timmy is already gonna make a move here on metaxakis as there is a yellow flag onto the main straight and i think it's gonna be Reezy. timmy right now trying to make the move on metaxakis and metaxakis with a very interesting strategy i think those guys should have went into the pits for medium tires as these hard tires will die off quite quite quickly and especially when he is gonna fight much with timmy at the moment tamiladas is gonna try 
and get a little bit closer physical is holding it strong in p4 with mystery and az dog right behind them as we're seeing some beautiful screens around here built and mad has been caught sleeping 1.5 seconds behind az dog and let's have a quick look at the front here again because we're seeing Mitaksaki's having a beautiful battle with Timmy. They're not too close for a overtake, especially in Hungary. It's quite difficult. Uh, mystery quite close here to physical. Let's have a quick look what's going to happen here. Nothing really because we're in sector 3. Quite a difficult sector to make an overtake work. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Ooh, AZ Dog almost made the move work on Mystery. Mystery closed down the door as he's going to get gonna have a good exit coming out of this corner trying to set a, a, a move up for himself on who is it physical and he has a better exit coming out of that corner does he have the straight line speed it does seem like it is he gonna make a move down the inside he is not he is under attack from the alpha Tari driver at the moment so let's have a good look who is gonna have a better exit Ooh, mystery closing down the door there built and mat making a move on az dog as az dog got pushed wide a little bit by mystery not sure if that was intentional but i'm pretty sure it's not because mystery is usually a clean driver and really careful with his main rival's portal farm with another three second penalty not really a surprise that has been going on at the moment as he's finding himself in p9 i think it with either nine or 12 second penalties nine second penalties it's an interesting driver i keep saying it timmy has made the move done on metaxakis we've missed that quite unfortunate but yeah he is on faster tires he has been showing some great pace at the moment and i'm not sure if metaxakis is gonna fight with samiladas at the moment Mm, coming into turn 11 that is oh yeah, yeah 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 i know which one that is this is right before sector three metaxakis is coming into the pits right now what a bad strategy from the greek driver as i'm not sure if that was the strategy he has been hoped for hoping for my apologies i mean ufc timmy is right now two seconds in front of samiladas and especially on these tires, Samiladas is not going to come any closer. Mitaxakis has gone for medium tires and he's all the way at the back of the grid. And that's not a great strategy from the greed driver as Timmy has got a little bit of a buffer. Because if, well, Samiladas still has to make a pit stop. So Timmy can take a free pit stop and go for medium tires. Built the mat with a three second penalty as he is making himself up. Um... Ooh, no, 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 no. This is not good for Built and Matt. Touched the curb there on the outside as he spun. Very unfortunate. P11. And it's not going to be the race he has been hoping for. Portal Farm is a P7 right now with medium tires. So I don't think they will last till the end of the race, but it's still a great try from the British driver as he is quite close to Hawk at the moment. Temp Shadow is right behind them. And it's looking very good for Timmy at the moment. He doesn't have to make a pit stop later on. Hey, Shukriye. What, what is that emoji? What is that emoji? That's not nice from you. Um, Tommy Laras in P2. Physical, physical, physical in P3. Physical in P3, guys. I'm not sure what I'm seeing today. Physical in P3. Um, and yeah, Shuki, indeed, you're always mad at me, at me. Not sure why, as Mystery is gonna shove it down the inside. Is he gonna make the move done? He is actually, he has the fresher tires though. And maybe AZ Dog is gonna benefit from that. Let's have a quick look. Part of Form is having some battles here. He has been taken out by, I think it was Double Cream Cat, or maybe Tem Shadow. I'm not sure. Let's have a quick look here in the chicane quite a difficult sector my apologies shukri not sure what i've did wrong as it is going to be mystery here one ten behind the red bull is it going to be enough it isn't going to be enough maybe in turn 12 and 13 and we've got another friend girl for samiladas as we're seeing a beautiful overtake here well, at least it was a try from AZ Dog on Mystery. I'm not roasting you. I'm not roasting you. 
four tenths, three tenths. Is he gonna be able to make the overtake work on the main straight? He seems not to have a great setup on the main straight, as he will be overtaking, taken by AZ Dog almost. Nope, nope. It's not gonna be enough. All these driver have, all these drivers have DRS. A mystery has to do it with overtakes in the court in the corners and i'm not sure if that's gonna be working here on this track it is a nice try to go for a high downforce setup but it doesn't look too great for the ferrari driver at the moment as we are seeing a beautiful lineup here with physico leading the group mystery in p4 az dog in p5 hog in p6 Thames in p7 and we've got double cream cat who is trying to get closer to the group and then we're gonna have six drivers driving in the line that's gonna be great because especially we are with 13 drivers still on the track gocitos is gonna be his teammate he is 10 seconds slower well he's 10 seconds behind double cream cat but he still got points so that's great to see because uh, he's not a driver that usually gets points so i'm very happy for him he seems like a, a nice a nice guy and i'm 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 not i'm not really sure how i should say it i'm usually very i'm i'm, I'm sad that not really he's getting some great points but yeah he's a nice guy you know there is not not overtaking happening here as my english is a little bit broke today guys i'm I'm very tired and i'm struggling keeping uh <laughs> keeping my eyes up and making words uh, words and sentences and it's quite difficult today as it seems like ooh, Rizzi is quite close to Ciros right now Ciros doesn't have a great exit coming out of that corner Ooh, i think timmy has spun timmy has spun Ooh, that's quite unfortunate for the British driver. But let's get back here between Bilt and Matt and Siros as Mitaxakis made his way. <laughs> ooh, I think. Ooh, he is all the way back. And I think he has made a mistake. No, he has gone for the fastest lap attempt. You can rest. Yeah, I mean, all these leagues that are driving so late it is almost 11 o'clock for me today so i mean i've been awake i've been already awake for 11 oh ooh, what is that no 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 there are so many crashes happening today it's amilada's coming into the pits and timmy is gonna benefit no he's gonna come into the what is this guys no timmy what is this mistake timmy 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 this is not great guys this is <laughs> now it's gonna be physical if you want i think it's gonna be the first race he oh it's gonna be a a yellow flag ah that makes sense then but physical has come in p1 leading the race at the moment 16 lap old hearts he doesn't have to come into the pits built in no way timmy what is up with timmy he has DNF from the race. What is up with Timmy? What is up with Timmy, guys? Ah, uh, this is a carnage race, as I would call it. And I'm gonna get a quick, a quick look at the, at the at the chat of the league, as I'm not sure what happened with Timmy. right so another yellow flag another safety car and as i really need to make that sound i'm not sure i i, I will let someone else sing it like safety car we're seeing another safety car yeah yeah it is yellow it is yellow the safety car itself is not yellow it is green it is green but we are seeing yellow flags all the way to do and a lot of drivers are coming into the pits actually one driver is coming into the pits it's gonna be physical and that's quite sad for physical because i mean he was leading the race thank you very much Shukriya. can you sing the 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 safety car line for me later and i will 
five drivers are already out. It's six drivers to be more specific. And I'm not sure what happened this race. Godard's got DSQ'd. Spidey Maw got spun out. Roscoe got spun out. Steve Fenny, I'm not sure what happened to him. Metaxakis, I'm not sure what happened to him either. And then Timmy, he, Timmy, what, what, what's up with Timmy, guys? He, he came in out of the pits and then I just saw him. I mean, I just saw him behind the safety car and he was slowing down. Not sure what happened. Oh, he had damage coming out of the pit lane, so he retired on track. Very unfortunate for him, but... I mean, points to grab for some other drivers, and it's, I think... Ooh, Hawk in P2, Double Cream Cat in P3, Temp, Sh Temp Shadow. Boo, he has won too many races. Boo, he cannot win the race. Uh, it would be very unfortunate. Still 10 laps more to go. But he is on 16 lap old hard. So it's going to be difficult for him to control his car. And I think the best driver is going to be Tami Lados right now in the top 10. With median tires as everyone is going quite slow behind AZ Dog. As he's going to try to get a good exit coming out of the corner. Ooh, this is quite dangerous. AZ Dog. Ooh, Hawk got caught sleeping. <laughs> Double Cream Cat right now, P3, Tem Shadow, P4, Mystery, P5, Built the Mats making up some places, Reezy is losing a couple of places, ooh, Double Cream Cat is going too wide, going too wide, Hawk has made the move done, and it is gonna be AZ Dog in P1, Mystery is making up the positions, ooh, Double Cream Cat has gone too wide, Tem Shadow is back in P3, and let's have a quick look here, Samiladas, has he made any <laughs> has he has he made any positions yet it doesn't seem like it three tens behind double cream cat and let's have a quick look here Tem shadow seven tens behind the hawk as <laughs> <I'm laughs> samiladas two tens behind double cream cat and what's happening here I don't think any overtaking is going to happen. Double Cream Cat with a three second penalty. And Hawk has a penalty though. He's going to be holding. Well, I'm not sure what's happening. But he's got Portal Farm right behind him. Well, inside him. I'm not sure what Portal Farm is doing. And I think he might be... I'm not sure what's happening with Portal Farm. He's such an interesting racer. And AZ Dog looks like he is going for a great race win here in hungary and it's gonna be temp shadow mp3 at the moment coming quite close to hog but he has those 18 lap old hearts and hog 11 lap old hearts so he's gonna be a little bit more he is gonna have a little bit more of a of a, a benefit well i'm not sure of a uh He's going to be better at the moment because his uh, hard tires are better. I mean, they're less longer driven. I mean, if that makes sense. My friends in the chat are making fun of me. Stop making fun of me. It's not funny. We are racing today in Hungary. Double Cream Cat 9 tenths behind Mystery. And Mystery, well, uh, he's showing some alright pace, you know, he's in P4. Again, not gonna get a podium. And Temp Shadow, ooh, he's quite close to Hawk at the moment. Is he gonna make a move down the inside? I don't think he is. going down the main straight do the drivers have drs it doesn't seem like it after this lap they do and it is still going to be seven more laps to go as there is not going to be any overtaking happening at the moment az dog is three seconds in front of these two and then there's going to be mystery having a gap of 1.6 seconds but he is going to be under fire from behind double cream cat samiladas and built the mat are coming quite closer i'm not sure if built the mat is gonna set himself up for a move on samiladas
Because apparently my friends in the chat say I'm I don't have any friends, so that means I'm talking to ghosts at the moment. So ooh, ooh, we're quite close here for a battle. Tem Shadow, is that gonna happen? It do it does seem like it. It's very close here, racing around Hungary. Let's have a quick look. What's gonna happen here, Temp Shadow? Two tens behind Hawk. And Hawk is a really experienced driver, you know. He's keeping these this driver right behind him. And what's gonna happen with the the DRS guys? Because Temp Shadow is gonna have DRS. He has a better exit coming out of this corner. Ooh, he has gone wide as Portal Farm got the fastest lap, but he's not gonna get that because uh, C Ross is scoring points. C Ross, C Ross, C Ross. Rizzi is coming into the pits for another set of tires. I'm not quite sure what he's gonna do. Maybe retire in the pit lane. Temp Shadow. Hawk pulled an Alonso. Yes, indeed, because he is keeping Temp Shadow right behind him. And this is some great defending from the offer mail driver at the moment let's have a quick look he is keeping temp shadow behind him and there's nothing else happening here ooh, 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 ooh. what is happening tommy laras and built a mat at the moment and tommy laras lost the position to the british driver and is he going to be under fire from behind physical is on his way to overtake the greek driver at the moment but it doesn't look too great and let's have a quick look what's going to be happening here at the front because they're going to come into sector three and that's usually the sector where a lot of overtakes are happening hog is putting up a personal best he is two tenths up on his previous best time let's have a quick look what he's going to do coming out of this sector he is going to give drs to temp shadow at the moment though but we might see an overtake from the group behind these few with the DRS as Mystery is coming closer. He's going to have DRS, I think. He is actually going to come closer. And he still has a lot of battery left. As Hog doesn't have any. Thames has 30%. So that's great to see. And then these drivers here. None of the drivers are going to set himself up for an overtake. But I think Tamiladas is going to hold back Physico. Cedos is making a move on Double Cream Cat. As he will get another few points. I can definitely help you, Shukriya. Ooh, physical with another three second penalty. Oh, this is so funny. And and ooh, 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 damn shadow, damn shadow making a move on Hawk at the moment. One ten, two tens. It's not gonna be enough into that chicane. It's gonna be difficult. Here, seventh place. It's gonna be physical. Trying to make a move on some... Ooh, ooh, what's happening? No way. Hawk has lost it. Seventh. He's going to be seventh. This is... No, guys. This is... No. Nope. Nope, nope. Hawk, you have... You have failed. You have failed my expectations. You were doing so great this race. And then you crashed in lap 30 lap 30 you crashed in lap 30 there's still five more laps to go you should have let oh tommy Lados is making a move here on physico is he gonna get a great exit coming out of that corner it doesn't seem like that Ciros get them points for mclaren p8 he's gonna get four points so that's great to see as i'm gonna talk a little bit more about the constructors we haven't had the chance yet to talk about the constructors and mclaren is in p6 right now p7 p5 p6 p6 with 128 points so yeah ferrari is going to score a little bit more no this is always the same with built and matt he loses positions in the last few laps and 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 why 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 he is always crashing this is what i mean what is happening with built and matt always the same i'm so mad at him because he's such a great driver he has some great pace but look at this always fucking up the last few laps he he's been doing and that's that's just a waste of your two hours you know you were doing so great you you were driving well you were going to try and get p4 p3 i don't know right now he's p7 what is this
I'm furious because these guys don't know how to drive recently. I mean, so many DNFs. Look, we've got Timmy, Mitaksaki, Steve Penny, Roscoe, Spidey, and Gotarts. And then we only have 11 Matt at Matt. <laughs> Hashtag Matt at Matt. Indeed. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, portal farm in another second. <laughs> Three second penalty. What a surprise. Zero is <laughs> making the move on built and mad. Great to see you here. Who's going to come out on top? Is going to be built and mad. <laughs> man, that man. my apologies guys someone in the chat said hashtag mad at Matt. oh that's so funny okay temp shadow coming way closer to az dog and it's not gonna be a secure win for az dog yet he has to keep temp shadow right behind him and i don't think that's gonna happen although 23 lap old hearts is gonna be difficult to control compared to 16 lap old hearts but he is gonna have the ers he is gonna have the drs az dog has five percent temp shadow is gonna send it down the inside is it gonna be enough az dog is gonna try and stick it out the outside don't think it's gonna be enough temp shadow is gonna have another drs Ooh, ooh, az dog has made it work down the inside here is he gonna push him a little bit wide i would do it if i were him it's not gonna work maybe here a better exit coming out of the last first corners and he is gonna back out of the move so that's gonna be p1 for temp shadow as he is strengthening his strength str he is strengthening his position at the moment and that's gonna be another 25 points for temp shadow and that will place him in let's have a quick look that will place him in P P2 because MUFC Timmy hasn't scored any points. He DNF'd. Tommy Ladas is going to score 10 points for the Mercedes team. Biltomat is going to score 8 points for the Mercedes team. And Cedos is going to score 6 points. No, 4 points. Wait, I'm doing the calculations wrong. Tommy Ladas is going to get 10 and Biltomat is going to get 6. That was it. Cedos is going to get 4, but that's not too... I mean, it's not too much, but it's not the worst either. One more lap to go. Temp Shadow. No, two more laps to go. My apologies. After this one, there's going to be one more. Temp Shadow already made a gap of 1.7 seconds. And it's almost going to be firm that your winner is once again going to be this ass, uh, this Haas driver. Is there any battle happening currently? It doesn't seem like it. Who has the fastest lap? We want to make sure that the fastest lap point doesn't go to anyone because it belongs to portal farm but he's not gonna get it because he's not in the top 10 and i want to see how many penalties he has 15 15 seconds of penalties all right and then drivers like temp shadow az dog and oh my days Aston martin how far are they behind everyone in the championship they are ninth with 31 points so that means in 13 races those drivers have received 31 points that's so that's three points every race quite interesting now we've got a alpine team who only have one driver that's going to be roscoe and he doesn't seem to be finishing the race today as Rizzi lost his car once again as that's going to be very disappointing for him nobody is really close to the other driver maybe az dog is going to get overtaken by mystery that's going to be the question for the next lap as we're currently in the last lap um, let's have a quick look at the position changes physico gained 13 points samiladas lost to uh, 13 well, my apologies 13 positions samiladas lost two positions is going to be built the mat who gained nine but he has been a little bit unfortunate there Cedros has won five positions so that's great to see that's indeed true lars that's indeed true um but I, i'm not sure if that's gonna happen uh, i mean what does it matter one point or two points Ooh, mystery is close to az dog eight tens but he's coming down uh, well he's coming one lap short to make the overtake work because usually you make an overtake on the main straight although mystery is not known for having a uh, straightly a straight 
straight line speed setup. But he might be able to make an overtake work here. Another yellow flag. Physical has lost his car the last lap. So that's going to be an extra few points for Samilada's mystery. Is it going to be enough? It is not going to be enough. He came in very close. Four tenths. Um, but it's not going to be enough to get P2. But again, a beautiful podium for Mystery. As it is going to be Tsamilaras coming across the line for P4. Physical is going to come down in P5. But it depends on how many penalties he had. Let's have a quick look. Penalties. Ooh, we cannot see the penalties. So we have to wait till the end of the race. As it is going to be Hawk coming down three seconds short. Ciros. Ooh, built and Matt has spun it in the last... Ma hashtag mad at Matt in the chat guys hashtag mad at Matt he spun in the last corner losing a position to Cyrus double cream cat coming down in P9 P10 is gonna be Reezy and P11 is gonna be Portal Farm with six drivers who haven't finished the race quite remarkable um, but again very interesting race we saw a lot of safety cars a lot of crashes happening, a lot of incidents, as I'm pretty sure that the stewards will be busy this weekend. And yeah, I, I will keep you guys up to date with the results. Let's have a quick look here if anyone else is... Um, yeah, physical, having the driver of the day. Quite, quite interesting, because he had a lot of penalties. Let's have a quick look how many he had. As we are seeing Temp Shadow coming down the paddock at the moment, well, coming out of the paddock, being. I'm not sure how I should say it. I said it wrong yesterday too, but the Ferrari driver and the. Who else is it? The Alphatari driver are keeping company on the track as we want to have a quick look at what the final standings are going to be temp shadow in p1 az dog in p3 uh, in p2 and mystery to finish off p3 let's have a quick look what happened here at the back of the grid because that's going to be interesting for the standings um and how many penalties did physical have he had nine seconds of penalty so that's all right uh, portal farm had 15 seconds of penalties he did have the fastest lap he was the only driver to put in a 119.5 and yeah that's gonna be your hungary grand prix i thank you very much tonight uh good night for everyone who has to go to sleep and i'm gonna finish off the stream maybe with a i'm not sure if anyone is up for a interview but i'm gonna ask that so we will be right back with you guys and i'll let you know if we're gonna have a interview or not so i will catch you guys soon
Right, guys. So it doesn't seem like anyone is up for an interview today. So that will be the end of the stream. I'm going to talk a little bit more about what happened today here in Hungary as we had a very interesting race. Indeed, we had a early safety car after lap one where a lot of drivers went into the pits already, which was quite interesting. Then around lap seven, we had another safety car where a couple of more drivers went into the pits and I'm not quite sure. A lot of drivers have DNF then already. I think it was around three or four. Then at the middle of the race, we saw some good overtaking opportunities and we saw a group of like six people having a battle for P4. And then at the end of the race, we saw a few crashes from indeed Matt Bilton, um, who else was there? We saw a crash from Portal Fall. We saw a crash from Reezy. We saw a crash from Hawk, who was having an amazing race today, but he couldn't pull it off as I think he finished around P7, P8. Not quite sure. As that was going to be the little summary of your Hungary Grand Prix. Time Shadow has won the race with AZ Dog in P2 and Mystery in P3. The Ferrari driver came. 410 short to be in P4, uh, P2 today. So I thank you very much for watching here at the IRC Racing League. Uh, we will be back with you guys next week as I thank you very much for watching. This was VB Thomas. Peace out.